Well, good morning and welcome back, Lucy. We're so proud of you. Uh, the fact that you have come to our Transition to Teaching program, you now have passed the exams and you have one year of teaching under, tucked under your belt. No? Um, can you tell me what got you here uh, into the teaching profession? I followed into my mom's footsteps. Um, she, she was my main um, role model and based on her experiences and her stories into teaching was what motivated me to go into teaching myself. Very good. So you have a, a very positive role model, no? Yes. Now tell me about your experiences that made you go outside uh, of your community. I decided to broaden my horizons and uh, knowing that there were more possibilities out there, um, I think, I always think you have to give yourself the chance first instead of thinking that, that it's the same everywhere. Maybe it's different over there, so I thought, why not, you know, just give it a chance. What would be some advice that you would offer others as they're looking for a teaching job? Do your best. Do your best. Don't give up. Uh, and be persistent. Mm -hmm. Be persistent into into looking and uh, don't be disappointed. And you know, try and try another one. If you don't get one, then move on and just keep on trying. What were some setbacks in moving away, and how did you deal with them? Okay, um, the setbacks were that I didn't know anybody. I started off. Uh, I didn't even have a car. Um, I, the, the only person that helped me out there living there was my brother that was living there at the, with his roommate at the time and I just, I, I didn't care about sleeping on the couch or just staying anywhere and I, because I knew that it was eventually going to change, the, the situation was going to be different. Um, I, I gave it my best into, into that challenge. Where or when, whom did you turn to rather uh, when you needed help uh, dealing within teaching in your teaching profession? Well, first of all here at TTT and then once I started over there, they, um, they were very friendly, all the teachers and my mentor was my main um, helper. So you had that resource to, to look to, no? Now you've been there a full year. What would you do differently, if any? Now that I have experienced a full year into uh, teaching, I would now I know what what what's coming up next year. So I'm gonna better prepare myself for the, for the beginning of the year and just um, I think I will enjoy more of it this year, knowing knowing how everything works. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I really don't see things that you have said you would do differently other than you've learned through experiences, mm -hmm. right? Now, how did your school district play the part in helping you be successful? They gave me trainings in, in, into the program, into the where I'm teaching. They, they, were, they were always there. If I needed anything, they were able to help me all the time. Now, I know not only the school district played a part in your life this past year, but you were also doing your internship and we had to contact the people from the university to give assistance. How was that experience um, for you? They, um, I'm very grateful <coughs> that they were able to do that, the, to help me out from uh, in communicating the, <coughs> their information to you guys. So, I mean, they were very nice. To very good. So that was another source of of uh, support for you. Mm -hmm. So you're you seem to have been surrounded very well, surrounded with support from your from your mentor from the school district itself who mm -hmm. gave a lot of training uh, to the university who provided also the uh, supervisory uh, assistance which is very good. Uh, what is one piece of advice that you would share with someone who might be thinking about branching out 
and looking for a teaching position outside of our immediate Brownsville, Harlingen, San Benito area. What, what it, what's one piece of advice that you would give to them? To think positive. Think positive all, all throughout mm. that experience and and just remember that you're not alone. That, and TTT is always there <laughs> as well. <laughs> well, that's very good. Uh, you know, you survived. You survived that first year, and we knew we knew from the very beginning that you would be successful. No? So, Lucy, we want to wish you continued uh, good luck. And always know that our door is always open. We're just a phone call away. We're just an email away. So uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Next year. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Casares.